Wow, y'all. I just was sent this uh, in my email and I started watching it. And I had seen this woman on, oh, another video that someone sent me of the, the chaos going on in... Um, I guess this was New York. There were some in Seattle. Again, more of the Black Lives Matter and Antifa trying to get back into Seattle, busting windows and this and that. But, um, oh, what's his name? Tony from uh, God Rules. He was showing some pictures. I'm pretty sure it was him. Forgive me, whoever, if I got it wrong but I saw this woman with Jesus matters a black woman getting arrested and and he didn't say anything about her he just showed this picture well then I get sent this this link is right next beyond it I believe it was the next one I said okay I'll catch one more before I go take a nap and so it's called about last night want to give you a quick update all right this is two black women on here the channel is Bevelyn Beatty she was the woman who got arrested they were going around putting black paint over the word black so that it read lives matter and there was some kind of mural by the Trump Tower, apparently. And they wanted to cover it up. They wanted to go around and cover up all the murals they could find. And apparently there were some others with them. Well, they had to get arrested because they were vandalizing. That's even though the persons who wrote what they wrote vandalized first. They were throwing paint Apparently, they were, I don't know if they were opening a quart of paint and just throwing it. Maybe they thought they couldn't reach. I, I don't know. I don't know the details of what, I didn't get to see them doing it. But this, they're talking about how, how this, uh, this was a move of the Holy Spirit. And how that gospel, when they were in that jail, they the policemen treated them so well. They give them four bottles of water per hour. They got them something to eat. They were real kind. They got them out as quick as they could. And they got right back to business. And they said they pulled an all-nighter. And so, anyway, this is really, they're, they're calling out. To everybody to stand up for their country and do this. Well, I say you'd have to be led. First of all, pray about it. Because as much as I would love to go and do this, it might not be for me to do it. But for somebody who could handle being manhandled because they had to arrest her. And um, the, the scene they showed, the picture they snapped, it looked to me like they were dragging her, but they could have she could have tripped or something. And then there they took that picture. Anyway, um, I just thought I wanted to share this so y'all could see that these that they had seen another man being brought in and he was a black man that was with them and he had been arrested also and they had also seen a white man come along with white paint I guess he was going to paint over it over the word black with white but anyway, maybe that's what was cheapest for him to get a hold of. I don't know. The point is, 181 thumbs down. Well, maybe they felt 
like they were just praising the police too much and people are just really angry at police right now. I don't know why you would give, uh, maybe because they threw the Christian part in and they th they was watching her because of what her stance on Black Lives Matter and I don't know, who knows why you would give someone this video a thumbs down, but it's got 15,000 thumbs up. Praise the Lord. And I'm going to make it one more. So I, I would urge you, if you watch this and you feel led to do it, have a group with you. Don't try to do it alone. And if you get arrested, be respectful because it is, this is against the law. And so is refusing the law to wear a mask or to take a vaccine if they make that a law. So, see, sometimes you have to draw the line. Where is it okay with the Lord for me to break the law? And where is it okay for me? What, it's usually not okay with the Lord for you to break the law. Like, Speeding would normally be against the law. But what if somebody's dying in the back of your car and you're trying to get to the hospital? You put your emergency blinkers on. You be as careful as possible. And I say you go as fast as you can. You're trying to save a life, especially if they're not saved or ready to go to heaven. You see the difference? So, okay, I'm going to end it with that and say y'all have a wonderful day or blessed night, blessed day or blessed night, whatever, whenever you happen to see this. And remember what I said, always take something like this to the Lord before you step out and do it. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later.